In this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, how we can do some mental math tricks um, and all of these problems that you see on the screen right now, I'm going to do mentally and I'm going to show you how we can do math like these things mentally and using some properties of math. Now you might have heard of the commutative property, the distributive property. Those are the two key properties that are going to allow me to do some of the things that we're going to do here. All right, let's dig right in. This first situation, we're adding a bunch of numbers together. Now, the commutative property of addition says that we can add those in any order that we like. So, rather than just adding straight across here, if we add 3 and 7 first, that gets me a nice number 20. And then if I add 4 and 6, that also gets me a nice number 10, and I just have 20 plus 10. That's not so bad. We can do that. That's 30. Okay? And I'm just writing some stuff down here so you can see how we're coming up with these things. And then, when you have to add some numbers, you can go ahead and do it mentally using some of these tricks. All right. Now, this one, some multiplication. Well, if we can add in any order we like, the commutative property of multiplication also says that we can multiply in any order we like. So we could just take 5 times 3, 15, and then 15 times 4. Mm, you might not know that right off the top of your head, but look at this. If we take 5 times 4, well that's 20, and 20 times 3, that's not so bad, because remember, 2 times 3 is 6, pop that 0 on there, and we've got 60. Okay? So there's another situation where if we do it in a different order than what it's written, it can maybe make it a little bit easier for us. All right, let's take a look at this next one. Now here's a situation where we've got two numbers that are going to cancel each other out. Notice right here we've got a negative 15 and a positive 15. Well, hey, combine those, that's zero. Then look what's left. 3 plus, or excuse me, 13 plus 7 is 20. Not too bad. All right, now let's take a look at some multiplication problems. With multiplication, the property that we can often use is called the distributive property. And you may remember this as being something like this. Let me just write a, a general example here, like 2 times x plus 2. Okay, and we take that 2 and we multiply it through by each piece, and that would be 2x plus 4. All right, rather than having variables, what we're going to do is make it so that the multiplication is easier to do. So, let me show you how we're going to do this. Well, 14 times 12, ah, mentally, I'm not so sure about that, but watch this. If I take that 12 and make it into 10 plus 2, Huh, hey, there's some stuff I can do. So if I take 14 times 10, that's going to be 140. And then 14 times 2, well, that's 28. Then 140 plus 28, 168. There it is. Okay, so taking that number, and we could do either of the numbers, and break it up into two that are easy to multiply, and then put it back together afterwards. All right, let's take a look at this next one. For this one, we've got 4 times 106. Okay, well, let's just take that 106 and break it up into 4 times 100 plus 6. Okay, because that's 106, same thing. Didn't uh, change the value there, but I did make the multiplication way easier. Check this out. 4 times 100, 400, and then 4 times 6 is 24. 400 plus 24, 424. Boom, there it is. All right, let's try this one. Now, in the first two we added to get the thing that we we're going to distribute to. Well, in this case, 57. Hmm, I could break that up into uh, 50 and 7, but then we've got 7 times 50. That's eh, still not that nice. Maybe I could look at it a different way. What if I did 7 times 60 minus 3? Okay, well, 7 times 60, well, 7 times 6 is 42, 
tack that 0 on, so 420. And then 7 times 3 is 21, so 420 minus 21 is 399. No calculator needed using the good old distributive property. All right, now one more thing I want to show you here is something that we can do if we're just adding some numbers together. Now, we're not going to reorder these, but what we're going to do is rather than adding the ones place first, we're going to add the tens. All right, so a lot of stuff going on in the head here, but let's see if we can follow this. So I'm going to start with the 12. So 12 plus, I'm going to forget the 1 for now and add the 20 first. Okay? So I'm going to say 12 plus 20, and that's going to be 32. Now, I still have that 1 to add on, so let's tack that on there. So we've got 32 plus 1 is 33. Okay? Again, in your head, we can do those things pretty straightforward. Now, 33 plus 18. Okay, again, I'm going to add that 10 part first because that's easier. That makes this 43. So again, I'm going to take 33. Oops, and I can't write a 3 anymore. Hey, there's a 3. 33 plus 10 first because that's easy to do. That's 43. Then I've still got that 8 there. Now, hmm, in this situation when we have something that we need to add for the ones, here's what goes on in my head. I think about, all right, how many do I need to add to 43 to get to the next nice 10 number? And by that I mean 50, okay? 50 would be the ne next nice 10 number. So I need 7 for that. So I'm going to take 7 of those 8, I'm going to add them on there, and that's going to give me 50. Then I've got 1 left, so I add that, and now I have 51. Okay, so then finally, I'm going to add that 14, again, starting with the 10 part, so I add 51 plus 10 is 61, and I've got just that 4 left, so 61 plus 4 gives me 65. No calculator needed. Okay, again, just making use of some mental math, adding those 10s, the nice and easy parts, and also working to get to that nice 10 number. All right, let's try that again, looking at this last one. <clears throat> okay, again, 73 plus 29, I'm going to start, in this case, since 29 is so close to 30, I'm just going to add 30 to 73. So if I add 30, that's 103. Now, who? wait a second, I added 30. Well, that's one more than 29, so I've got to subtract one from this. So that's 102. Okay, now, 102 plus 41, well, 102 plus 40 gives me 142. And then finally, I add that last one there. 142 plus 1 is 143. Okay, mentally doing that math, adding those numbers right up. Just some little tricks using those properties and breaking those numbers up so that they're nice and easy to do mentally. I hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math and uh, who needs a calculator?